Hello everyone, how are you doing? Now today we're looking at another radioactive decay series and we're looking at uranium-238. We're going to display the net reaction for this decay series and also talk about why this is called a 4n plus 2 series. Now to start, let's look at the entire decay series, starting with unstable uranium-238, ending with stable lead-206. Now remember that this decay series only includes alpha and beta decays. Now if you see the mass number decreasing by 4, while the proton number decreased by 2, then that for sure is an alpha decay. If you see the mass number remains, while the proton number increased by 1, then that for sure is a beta decay. So starting with uranium, into thorium-234, the mass number decreased by 4, so surely alpha. From thorium into protactinium, mass number remains, so therefore beta. From protactinium into uranium, the mass number is the same, so therefore beta. Coming from uranium into thorium-230, mass number decreased by 4, so surely an alpha. Coming from thorium into radium, the mass number decreased by 4, so surely alpha. From radium into radon-222, mass number decreased by 4, so surely alpha. From radon into polonium-218, mass number decreased by 4, so surely alpha. Coming from polonium into lead-214, Mass number decreased by 4, so surely alpha. Coming from lead 214 into bismuth 214, mass number remains the same, so surely beta. From bismuth into polonium 214, mass number remains beta. Coming from polonium into lead 210, so therefore what we have here is a decrease by 4 in mass, so surely alpha. Coming from lead 210 into bismuth 210, no change in mass, beta. From bismuth into polonium 210, no change in mass, beta. And for a final decay here, from polonium into lead 206, there's a decrease in mass by 4, surely alpha. Now let's look at the summary of the entire decay series. And so starting from uranium 238 into lead 206, if you check the number of arrows, what we have, we have 14 arrows, which means 14 steps or 14 total decays. Out of this 14, let's check our alpha decays. And we have here a total of 8. And so, therefore, we have eight alpha decays. The remaining portion will be beta. Let's quickly check those. And we have here a total of six. So, there are six beta decays. Now, to check why this is called a 4n plus 2 series is that we're going to take n of the masses. I'm going to choose 210 as my mass. And if I divide that number by 4, what I should get is a whole number, 0.5. And the if I get a 0.5, it means a remainder of 2. So therefore, if I divide 210 by 4, I should get 52.5, which indicates a remainder of 2. So therefore, it's called a 4n plus 2 series because of the two remainders. All right, so let's quickly look at the net reaction here. And so for the net reaction, again, we started out with uranium-238. And so we're going to have uranium-238. And what we get is a product. We have our lead 206. And throughout the entire decay series, we have a total alpha decays, which are eight of those. And so we have eight alpha decays and a total of six beta decays. Now let's check the mass numbers to confirm our answer. And so if you add in all the masses for lead, you're going to get 206. For our beta, we get 32, which, which is 8 times 4. It is 32. 6 times 0 is 0. So therefore, that is 238. Let's check our proton numbers. Now, for proton numbers, we have 82 for lead. For alpha, we have 16, which is 8 times 2. And 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. And in all those, you get a total of 92. So our overall net reaction is being displayed now. And I also want to thank you for watching this lesson. I hope it was really helpful for sure. And I also want to remind you that whether you lose or gain, man, please just be happy. All right, have a nice and wonderful day. Talk to you soon.